So, <clears throat> here's the business. I will get all useful items, I should say. Getting every fucking item in the game is going to be a batch. But also, while I do this to, well, I guess make it more fun for me and to show you guys how awesome this game is, I'll be discussing some of this lore shit about this everything, about all of it. Or at least what I've been able to figure out through the interwebs and shit like that. So, it's gonna be a, just a lot of cutting. Uh, the resolution's also smaller because I'm watching fucking... I'm just gonna be watching bullshit videos while I run around and look for items. And then when I come to a place with, you know, backstory to it, I'll stop you like, Yeah, well what happened here is fucking Abraham Lincoln and then whatever. All that shit. Okay, sound good? Great. Uh, so let's get started. Oh, and I'll, I'm also in offline mode because there are different phantom invasions that occur only when you're offline. So I'll be showing those off as well if I can remember to hit record before, you know, I kill them. Alright. Well, fuck. I guess I just better start off here. This chick is his daughter. Uh, they're from a merchant city to the south. The same place that Marigold guy in Iron Keep is from. Wait, can I, did I talk about? Oh, fancy meeting you here. Speak up if you need anything at all, alright? Shut up, man. These stones may look all the same. Yeah, okay. Some of them are you. God Some of them are damn it, you give a fuck. You know how they call this place Drang Lake, right? Well, in the old lore, Here we go. stories and the like, they said it had another name. What was it? Well, oh my god. I don't know. It's just something I heard. Since long, long ago, many kingdoms have risen and fallen on this very spot, each like a great flame that turns to soot. Maybe that's why people don't remember much about the past. Sure. You see that blacksmith over there? Is he one of those hollows? He seems to keep eyeing me up. He sort of looks like my father. Mm -hmm. He's a blacksmith too, you see. The poor man's such a worrywart. But he wouldn't follow me out here, would he? I was I born know. in a land there to go. the west, Bulgan. Damn it to the west. Famous for its merchants. There were great bustling cities. But for me, they were suffocating. And so I set out in search of stones in faraway lands. There are dangers for certain. But I much prefer to live this way. But for the life of me, I can't remember how I ended up here. It's as if I were drawn to the place. Or lured in. Oh, I don't know. You tripping. These stones may look Okay. None of so yeah, God, fuck you. Done talking to you. So huh. Lenin grass. You up for dead. Almost had me wanted, really. That's your I'll daughter, right? Your journey. Take these. They should help a bit. Oh. Alright. Thanks, Grat. You're worse than my reckless daughter. Don't spend your whole life in transit, you hear? <laughs> You'll need souls to repair and improve it. I know only of smithing. But souls... Okay. Don't waste your souls on useless trinkets. My witless daughter finally came home. Just as oblivious as she's always been. Well, at least now I can keep an eye on her. Sure. Stones? Try asking my daughter. You might be surprised. It's not who I want you to talk about. No. There we Don't go. Don't go near that scum near the pit. The scoundrel's name is Gilligan, and he's infamous in our hometown. Yes, everyone's heard of him, as he always manages to stir up trouble. Okay. Gilligan can certainly be helpful at times, but he's a real conniver when it comes to money. Huh? There are evil people out for his life. 
And you can bet he brought it on himself. AKA that, that sorcerer dude. Who's trapped in Aldia's keep. Drat. <laughs> okay, you people these days. Yeah, fuck you. You're you're a bigger jerk than I am. You've been an asshole to me the entire game, so shut up. Give a fuck about what you have to say. Alright, go again, what's up, dude? Mm. There's also lore behind these statues and the rotten boss. Kinda. Well, it's like specul- I don't know. Speculation. Wait. You found your way out, too. <laughs> the name's Gilligan. Don't make me say it twice. <laughs> Alright. What do you want? I have everything you need. <laughs> As you can see, the fucking town these people are from is known for their you know quality characters. Oh, I should have listened to the warnings. This place is flipping mental. Huh? No, I wasn't born here. I'm, I'm from a wee bit. I'm from a wee bit out west. That's all. I've seen some rough times. I think I'll settle down for a while. You wouldn't believe the shenanigans that happen in my business. I thought at, at least here in the middle of nowhere, I could stay clear of, you know, my own pals. Oh, <laughs> don't ask me what happened. Have you no discretion, you old chum? I like how they spell old. That gaping hole. Hell, search me. It's where the people around here toss all their rubbish. Corpses. You know what. Or whatever they'd rather be rid of. Oh, and, and those human statues. Who are they supposed to be? Anybody, I suppose. Probably just some old pagan costume. What's it like at the bottom of the hole? I mean, why in the hell would I know? <laughs> I already know what it's oh, like, don't yeah. I? Somebody told me that the grave of, of, of a saint lies below here. Not built by the king, no, no. It did back to that time long before him. The tomb connects to that hole. And there's there's something about some some rat king down there. Hell, <laughs> if the old rat is as rich as they say, maybe I should go and pay him a visit. Okay. Oh, I should have listened to the Alright. Fuck off. So the Rat King. Let's see if I can remember. Um, it's both connected to Pharos, who's a person. If. Okay. Yeah. Good. Pharos the Vagabond. Blah blah. Legend of Water of the Lands. Great contraptions and all that shit. He was such a badass that. Other people's inventions got mistaken for his. So. Wait, do I have the rotten soul? I hope I haven't been busting them in this playthrough, because these all have interesting shit to read as well. So I'll probably have to do. Shit. I don't have it, do I? Is it one of these busted ones? No. God damn it. Did I really use that thing? Oh, I think I made the cleaver with it. Stupid. Shit. Alright. <laughs> Either way. <clears throat> when you knock off the rotten's arm, left arm... It drops a Pharaoh's Lockstone. Also, if you look at the Rotten closely, on his left... His left shoulder, there's one undead dude that's like standing up. And every time the Rotten attacks, that undead dude is like making the swings. Like he's choreographing it. So it looks like he's controlling it. Also... No, it was something to do with the fucking Rat King. Can't remember though. Whatever. Anyway, see how that says Black Gulch Mouth? Well.
You know what the Pharaoh's lockstone things look like, right? They're all clean and nice. Welp. That kinda looks like one, don't it? Except it's all fucked. Um. So yeah, a theory is that that dude came down here, Pharaohs, he came all the way down here and made it all the fucking way down to where the rotten is and then just got stuck or some shit. And, uh, or congealed some, you know, cursed, whatever. Lost his mind, some bull. Basically, the theory is that the rotten is Pharaohs. Or, kinda, like being controlled by him, I guess you could say. I don't, I don't know. What else am I missing? Oh, and he's like putting together the dolls and shit in the cutscene. And he's like crying and moaning outside at the door before you enter to fight him. I think it had something to do with like he's trying to. remember something or atone in some way no 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 that sounds dumb there's a reason he's making those statues though I fuck it, I just looked all this shit up I can't believe I keep forgetting it it all blew the fuck out of my mind too I'm like what the whatever statues anyway he's down there making those statues for a reason and crying cause he's sad wish I had the fucking rotten soul I'm gonna look it up and read it. Okay, so I think the grave of saints has some such business to do with it as well, as well as the Rat King. But fuck all that. <coughs> Only thing you really gotta know is that Pharos went down there, and now he's not down there anymore. There's like a weird Pharos lockstone face in the beginning of that area. There's also a reason all that shit is poison, but that's DLC. We'll get to that once I play the DLC. Um. But yeah, here's what the soul says. It's just. Hold on. The rod embraces all, and the sanctuary for all things unwanted are tossed away. So, I don't know. You can infer from that shit, but... Watch a video of the rotten fighting and look at that dude on, on his shoulder. That's probably... That's probably Pharaohs, if I had to... I don't know. Seems the most plausible. Anything can really happen in this fucking game. Seeing as how in New Game Plus you find out that the Rotten is incarnate of Nido, not incarnate, just his soul reborn or some shit like that. Anyway, Rotten Nido, Seath is the spider. That doesn't sound right, does it? Think, just think. You just you just looked all this shit up, so Rodden and Nito. The sinner and Who the Lost Witch of Isolith. Cause that that fucking bug that crawls into its face, which I didn't know, is the bug from the Bed of Chaos in the first game. Not the first game, the second game, technically. The first Dark Souls, whatever, shut up. Okay, so there's that. The Iron King, who is he? He... Quinn? Might be... Now, Seath, who's Seath, though? Fucking bastard. I think Seath is a spider. I think I got all those right. Fertility. Pale Drake. Yep. Seath is the spider. And then I think Gwyn is the Iron King. I think. 
That sounds about right. So spoilers, well you figure that out in New Game Plus, because their souls appear, like Old Witch's Soul, and uh, Old King's Soul, and Pale Drake's Soul, you know, shit like that. Okay, but that's enough of me just sitting in Majula talking about bullshit, let's, let's actually get some stuff done here, fuck. 